So, Dr Foster, what is a migraine? Medically, when we say migraine, we're actually referring to a very specific type of headache. Typically, migraines last between 4 to 72 hours. Pain, obviously, is something that's common for all the headache conditions, but a migraine pain tends to be a throbbing, pulsating pain. Often that intense pain is not the worst part of it. It's often the accompanying symptoms. People can have a lot of cognitive fogging during an attack. They're very sensitive to light, sound, smell, motion. They want to go lie in a dark, quiet room. They can't continue normal activity often if the migraine attack is peaking. And for approximately Approximately one in four people with migraine, they often have a warning symptom, they get a migraine aura. Um, and that's quite often a visual change that happens. Now, you're conducting some new research into this area, into the Australian population and migraines with a head study. Can you tell us a little bit about the aims of the study? Absolutely. So the head study is the Australian Headache Epidemiology Data Study. This study is looking to do a census of migraine in Australia. So we're asking people if you have headache or migraine, how often do you come to hospital, to your GP, what do you spend on medications, other aspects as well. I think things like informal care is really important. If you're a young mother and you've got young children and you have a bad migraine, you're going to need the assistance of families or friends or formal support. And that is just often not counted when we look at the burden of disease. And currently there's no cure for migraine. But is this something that you think could exist in the future and what would that look like? So when we talk about cure, what I often think we talk about medically is to remove the source of the problem. And at this stage, we don't do brain transplants. <laughs> um, but medical technology is rapidly advancing, so I wouldn't in the future rule out it a way that we can manipulate the underlying migraine tendency. However, for now, we have made some really great breakthroughs scientifically in recent years in terms of managing migraine attacks. We're beginning to find effective medications. Um, most excitingly, new to the market are um, calcitonin gene-related peptide monoclonal antibodies. So it's a mouthful. It's a mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> it's a therapy that has been specifically designed to attack or um, work on a particular mechanism that drives migraine. I've seen it have a really tremendous change in, in how people's experience of migraine is.